Hey bro, I know you weren't expecting this at 4 a.m., but you and the rest of the ballers, I'm about to demolish your one-way flights from Sydney to Santiago. Now here we have an advertised one-way flight from Santiago to Sydney. Notice the time. 8 hours 35 minutes, so we're just gonna say 19 hours going forward. Let's so make sure we note the distance from Santiago to Sydney via Google Earth, 7,052 miles. So now let's do the math. 10,800 mile trip at an average speed of 690 miles per hour gives us roughly 15.65 hours. The trip is advertised at right at 19 hours. Give or take for wind speeds, different things like that, up to 19 hours. Makes sense, right? Now here's where the distance on the globe comes in. 7,052 mile trip, 690 mile an hour average speed, roughly 10.23 hours. Talking about an advertised 19 hour trip that should take 10 hours according to the math of the globe. The globe is dead. Earth is flat. Love you. Hey bro, I know you weren't expecting this from someone that knows how to use their brain, but I've seen that flight before for a lot less than 18 hours. So I hopped on Google Flights and looked up the uh, same date that you have, August 24th, Santiago to Sydney, and found the flight you were looking at. Here, uh, 18 hours, 35 minutes, I'm not gonna round up. And uh, was like, that's interesting. Looked at it, does say non-stop overnight flight. So I was like, I've seen that for a lot less of a fly time. So I went to their actual website, Autumn Airlines, Santiago, Chile to Sydney, on the same day, found the same flight, and it says one stop. That's interesting. This one says a stop. Uh, and it's got a layover in Auckland for almost two and a half hours. Figured, oh, Google probably has that wrong, but maybe I'm wrong, because I don't know what I'm doing, because I believe in the globe. I was like, let me change the dates, because I've seen that before. So I changed the date to August 23rd, and I found this flight from Santiago to Sydney nonstop for 14 hours and 20 minutes. Uh, so yeah, cuts four hours off of the flight that you found. And uh, just to fill you in, the average cruise, cruising speed of a Boeing 787 is 567 miles an hour. So you were going for top speed. Here's, here's a little bit of research. It took me all of seven extra seconds compared to what you looked for. I would imagine you probably saw this, uh, this nonstop for 12 hours, but that didn't fit your narrative. So, um, so yeah, good luck on everything you do in life. Love you, bro.